Hello! Today on Brick Emotion I'll show you how to paint a Lego mini doll torso. I'll use a mini doll torso, thin paint brushes and inexpensive acrylic paint. Basically, my kids craft supplies for apartment decorating. Before painting, it's advisable to wash the piece with soap and water. That will remove any fat from the surface, so the paint sticks more easily. I'll also give it some legs, so I can hold it better. If you first need to remove some printing from your bricks, I made a video about that, so you can go watch it. Mix the paint with a few drops of water. And start painting. I like to paint the outline first. You can see what happens if you don't add enough water on this white paint. It doesn't cover the torso evenly. When you're happy with the first layer, leave it to dry. Yes, you will have to apply more than one layer, but the good news is that each layer doesn't have to be perfect. The second layer's purpose is to fix those little mistakes we made in the first try and to make the color more vibrant. And we'll let everything dry again. Now I'll add silver highlights, because everything is better when it's shiny. Thin lines often require more work than painting a larger area. I'm trying to smooth out the line a bit with a clean paintbrush while the paint isn't dry yet. I decided to paint the lower part of the torso as well. To get the right hue, I mix the blue with the white. A quick check that the arms are still movable, everything's fine. This time I also used enough water so you'll be able to see the difference in texture. When painting a larger area, Try to be as quick as possible without painting out of bounds. Now wasn't that a helpful hint? Let it dry. Here you can even see how the paint is drying, because that's always fun to watch. Another layer of paint. let it dry and we can observe the texture difference between the blue and the white paint. Kids always use enough water, but too much water does you also no good, so experiment till you find the right amount. Time for some more silver highlights. Adding details makes the figure stand out and can be used to cover up some minor mistakes. Shiny. Some mistakes can be corrected using only your fingernails. I guess you could also use someone else's, but yours are never far away. The torso is almost done. I'll just try to smooth out the white part with another layer. And that's it! And this is the painted torso compared to the one we started with. The one of many. I wouldn't say it's better, but it's different. In this video, you can see which princess this torso is for. Thank you for watching! Bye bye! I'm not a cake, yet I'm made out of layers.